Okay, let's let's start this game that I know absolutely nothing about, but people say it's best not knowing. Ever the end is never the end is never the end is loading never for the end. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Hmm. Can I pause cutscenes? Stan <gasps> I can. Perfect. I love games that do this. Thank you. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Okay. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. That sounds very Although terrible. Others might have considered it soul ending. It sure sounds Stanley like it. relished every moment that the orders came in. Did as he? Though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Uh, you know, as long as Stanley is happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Good something for that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Uh -oh. No one had showed up to give him instructions. Did he show up a on a meeting, holiday? Or even say hi. We've all been there. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shot, yeah. frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and uh, stepped out of his office. Alrighty. Um, does this say I hate Mondays? Oh, look. Partition core? Why do I have... Maybe it's the numbers and, like, some of the colors. I don't, I don't know. Uh, anyways. No, no spoilers, though. So, Stanley decided to show up on a All holiday. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Even if I click on the desk, it looks over here. Yeah. It says who farted. I don't know why I feel the need to look at all of these. Like, I just want to see. Stanley went around touching every little thing <laughs> in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, <laughs> nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> Passive aggressive narrator. I love it. Can I have a more, more passive aggressive narrators, please? Did not progress the story in any way. Wow. Stanley clicked on literally every <laughs> single door in the office because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. <laughs> you never know, man. There's secret doors and games. Totally just pick up cute. When Stanley came to a set of two open oh doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, uh, oh. He told he said I entered the door on the left, but what if I go right? What if he wants me to secretly go right? What if he's expecting me to go right and the classic blunders? <laughs> He says I would go left, which means he would expect me to go right. But by expecting me to go right, he would want me to go left. So then I'm just gonna... You know what? You know what? I'm getting... I'm getting a dice out. <laughs> I can't make this decision. Fuck, I'm going left. opposite oh thank you for getting my reference of the princess bride oh shit oh yep i just moved my mouse too fast and i got turned around 
Yet there was not a single person here either. Tips for not getting fired. Seeing a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Sorry, I'm putting my dice away. <laughs> I have my dice here, so I don't have to make decisions. Using slides to assure the employees uh, that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header. It throws some bevel and yeah, everyone is unique. You most of all! What do people want? Things? Money? Happy? I don't know what that says. Violet James, you are fired. Uh, well, more money? Things? But with more money? <laughs> to buy more things? Graphs? Graphs about things and money? We have our new product. <laughs> what is hot? Profits, 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 profits. Stripes requires more secondary research. <laughs> Ooh, I love this. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. We need reviews. A lot of percent. Throw something in the idea bin. No more bins, trash cans, renaming of ideas. Firing me. Okay. Can I actually grab something to throw in the bin? Is that... Is this a secret thing? Oh, shit. Oh, I can't... I, oh, I can't jump yet. So what's here? Roster? Does that... Hold on, what's that? RSO. Oh, one. Never mind. A lot of percent. I missed the gray slides. I'm sorry. Hmm. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Still no reason to be here. He really Coming do. Coming to the staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm going downstairs. Oh. Oh no. There's a red light of doom. There's but Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something no! occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. <laughs> All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason what? at all. None of it made any logical sense. This is so weird. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. This is the for same. Example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors <laughs> close automatically behind him? Where? Why is this the same path and over and over these again? These rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? What? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. This can't be and real. at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. I'm dreaming. This is all a dream. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally uh, found an answer, an explanation. Makes sense. His co-workers weren't actually gone. Uh, he wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose it I'll wake up keeps soon. Going. I have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. Oh I may gosh. as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much what? fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing <laughs> and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly wow. strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he wow. thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply be? deceiving himself? 
believing that if I was Jesus just flying. Didn't have to take responsibility. Of course, it's a dream. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, I got an achievement for, for something. I got two achievements. That this was in clicking. fact a dream. Did the voice not see him flow to make the magical stars just a oh, moment no. ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, <gasps> surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. Okay. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Is Let this me a go back nightmare to my for job. Stanley? Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. Aww. All I want is he my life. He had a simple exactly life. the way it's always been. He clicks buttons. My life buttons. is normal. I am normal. That is such a very Everything weird will be job. Fine. I am okay. I'm not okay. Oh sh! We're still here. Stanley began screaming. Ah! Please, someone, wake me up! My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone, tell me I'm real. I must be real. And everything went black. <laughs> well. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Ella? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, <laughs> gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, <laughs> and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. <laughs> and although she would soon turn to go call I died the already? for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. I died already. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. Alrighty. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. She looked at the body and, and was she like, no. Nah. Alrighty. I would also like a passive aggressive narrator. Did I. Did, did I get the first ending? What? What? I'm at the beginning. I'm at the beginning? I'm at the beginning? I died. We're, we're already starting over. That's. Wild. Well, that was fast. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly. 50 clicks. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling Oh my it. gosh! I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment. A willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Okay, I have to find door 417 now. Dante 417. Well, this is for Tios. 417. 
Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. <laughs> So passive. Wait, four threes. Oh, four three seven. Here it is. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Right. Now door four one five. Let's give it ten clicks or so. <laughs> it's so passive. I love it. Four one six. Four one. Now back to door number four three seven. Oh my gosh, I can't even sprint. You know. Is this actually going to get me an achievement? Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. I saw 418. Okay. How do I climb? I, I can't jump. Awaiting input. I can't jump. Hold on. I can't. This is 419's desk. I can't jump. I can't, which means I can't climb. No, does that mean? Yes. Okay. This is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. <laughs> I'm stuck. 416. 417. We've almost got it. Now the copy machine. Do that one again. I feel like this is all for nothing. Like I'm going to die in the end. I'm going to die in the end. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Yeah! I got an achievement! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. I did get an achievement! Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. <laughs> yes, I'm very proud of how far <laughs> we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, <laughs> I he entered know. the door on his left. Okay, well, we went to the left last time. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, fine. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Is this where I die again? I know. Oh, I thought he was going to keep going, Nate. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh, well, uh, da, 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 da. from here it's, um, left. Oh, no, no, it's to the right, my mistake. Okay. No, what? no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I what thinking? What was I thinking? It's clearly, oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Ah. Uh... Alrighty. No, Whoa. no, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just Whoa! had to, to um, fired. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't it's see what that was. Now. The whole story completely unusable. The whole story oh, unusable. Waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense. We'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm. Okay. From the top. <laughs> So 
silly. 